High in the hills of northern Lebanon, these banners speak of tragedy and rage. Today, in the village of Kabait, a grim gathering is underway. The mass drowning of 18 people from here has stunned this small community. They've come together to grieve and vent their anger. The relatives of the dead on the left here greet their neighbors. As the event is beamed live across Lebanon, officials speak of poverty forcing people to seek a better life. But the local sheikh Ali Khudr takes direct aim at Australia. After the gathering, I visit a family still reeling from news of the tragedy. Nasser Khudr's brother, Hussein, was on the boat when it went down. He lost his wife and eight children. <laughs> Hussein texted many pictures home to his family. Life in Indonesia. The children. This remarkable photo of the boat soon after it left. And the women and children huddled together during the night. The family has a video that shows Hussein after he survived the sinking. His family, 10 persons. We have eight children. Eight children. Eight, nine children. Nine children. They all died. Why? Just tell us why they didn't rescue us. We NASA says poverty forced his brother to look to Australia. They sold possessions and borrowed money to pay a people smuggler $80,000 in the pursuit of a better life. <laughs> the 
Nasser says he repeatedly told Hussein not to risk the dangerous boat journey. Nasa and his father take me into the house where the family once lived. Then I'm shown the crib where the youngest used to sleep before the family left for their fateful voyage. They made it themselves because they didn't have enough money to buy a cot.